Yeah, so Foreigner is basically describing how Shane's season is going so far. But uh, what is going on, guys? This is Crowbar, and we are back with some more Shane Larkin Road to the Show here on MLB 15. And if you guys missed the last episode, well, Shane is off to a very rocky start to start the season. He's called up pretty quickly, and he could just not get things going. And now he's going to try to get things going here at Mylins Park as he is going to be aiming for that ugly sculpture in left field, but he's going to end up riling this one off the center field wall, and he will get into third base with a stand-up triple. So that's a good way to start this episode, as now you can see Marzine Prado and Jared Cozart, they're starting to uh, plan things, and they're going to try to do the hidden ball trick on Shane, but rookie Shane is not going to be falling for that one, as he will be able to get back to base in time before Martin Prado tagged him out, but... Anyways, this is the first video I've uploaded for this series since uh, last week, since the MLB started, uh, correction, MLB season started, and it's been a pretty good season so far. I mean, there's some surprises like the Braves being 5-0 and when a lot of people thought they would be at the bottom of the NL East along with the Phillies, and the Rockies are 4-1 and right now. They're off to a pretty good start. I thought they would be at the bottom of the NL West. So some good surprises. The Red Sox, my team, they're four and one right now as well. So they're off to a great start. And I watched that entire 19 in game. In case you guys are wondering, me and Jersey Bourne were in a call for that entire game. It was brutal, but they ended up pulling the win out. But I'm interested in what you guys um or how your team is doing. And just let me know what you guys how you got what your favorite team is and how they are doing. Kinda of interested to see. And yeah, but so we're getting into this gameplay. You could see last game we ended up having the golden sombrero, four strikeouts in a game. Not a good game for Shane at all. He's gonna try and get things going in the next game against the Braves, but he'll end up hitting this one right to the left fielder's glove. So he's been hitting the ball hard for the most part, but they've been all to the fielders. So not to a great start, but now on the fielding side, there's gonna be a hit up the middle. He's gonna try and backhand it. And that one is not going to work it either. So he's going to be getting an error on that play. As nothing going his way there. 0 for 5 in that game along with an error. As now moving on to the Mets. Two runners on. And he's finally going to get a hit. Hallelujah. That will go into center field. Two RBI single. He's going to stretch it into a double. He is in there safe. So it seems like every time he gets a hit. He gets an RBI. And now bottom of the ninth hitting 4-2 game. Going to try and get something going. Yeah, that won't work. Knuckle Curve will get him swinging, and he'll be the last out of the game. So, picks up one hit in that game, ends up going one for four, or correction, one for five. And now in the next game, bomb the first inning. He's going to try and get off to a quick start again. He's going to be singling into center field, so finally getting some life against the Mets as he gets another base knock. And now the bomb of six, tie game. He is going to get another hit. This one will go past the second baseman. So I believe this is his first two-hit game in the majors, finally. And now the bottom of the seventh, same game, bases loaded. He's going to get a three-hit game. Shane Larkin, is he starting to get a little bit red hot? That will be a two-RBI single for Shane as he gets another single. That's pretty good. As I ended up getting a double XP for uh, with some of my stubs. I decided that it would help me a little bit because every time you get a hit, you're basically getting like 20 XP, even if it's a weak hit. So that's going to help him level up a little bit. But nice play by Shane charging the ball. I thought that was a pretty nice play, charging and throwing across his body. I don't know, that might have just been me, but three hits in that game. His first three hit game. Strikes out twice, but it would not matter. So now we move on to a Sunday game. Mother's Day, got the nice pink bats going here. And there's a hit for Mom. That one will go into right field. All the way to the wall, and Shane's got a little bit of speed, and he will stay at second base with a double. So the pink bat works. Maybe we should use that every game, as he's going to get another hit against the Mets here. As maybe the Mets is his team. Now, bottom of the 10th inning, trying to get a walk-off, and that will not work. He would get another opportunity in the 12th inning to try and uh, take the lead. Runner on first base, one away. And this would not work. He's going to grounding it up the middle. Shortstop will go to second and on to first. That will be a double play. So the Phillies end up losing that game. He only got one in that game. Struck out in double play. And now a huge trade. The, the Phillies end up trading Chase Utley to the Tigers for Victor Martinez. 
As that came out kind of a surprise to me. So in the game, uh, the Phillies are actually making trades. But in real life, they're just not trading all the guys that should be. And right there, he's going to end up striking out on a bases loaded opportunity. So he didn't really need that. And ends up going over for 4. And now we move on to a the Pittsburgh Pirates series, the Battle of Pennsylvania. And he's going to still just have no luck. He's going to ground to third base. Third baseman will bobble it, but will remain with the ball. And he ended up playing second base this game. He got called in as a defensive replacement a little bit into the game. And playing his first game at second base, and he's not going to miss a beat there. He's going to end up turning a double play with J.P. Crawford. And he ends up going 0 for 2 in the game, however. And now in the next game, you can finally see against the Diamondbacks as he steps in. He is 1 for 16 in his last four, just not hitting the ball well at all. And now base is loaded. That's not going to get the job done as well. And Shane's not going to even run through the base. Maybe the baseball guys are pissing him. You're supposed to run through the base on every play. Come on, Shane. But no hits in that game. Now moving on to the next game. Bottom of the first. And that breaking pitch by Josh Colemunter is going to end completely just mess up Shane Larkin. Way early on that one. Now two runners on. And Shane's finally going to get another base hit. This one will go all the way to the wall. He's going to get two RBI on that one, and he's going to try and stay at second base. So Shane, another hit. And it seems like, like I said, every time he gets a hit, he's getting an RBI with it. Now Bob in the sixth, same game, 6-3. to three. This one is over the second baseman's head, and that will be another base hit for Shane. So starting to get a little bit of life here in this last series of this video. Ends up getting two hits in that game. With a ground total of 2 for 5, and now in the rubber match, Bob in the ninth inning. And this will be a hit up the middle. Shane's got yet another base hit. And ends up going one for four. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave some comments. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. But talk to you guys later.